Hong Kong citizens have a high awareness of healthy eating nowadays. Apart from this, people are paying more attention on food safety. There are cases of food poisoning reported in Hong Kong every year. Hundreds of local citizens are being affected. Food poisoning outbreaks occur in a seasonal pattern, in which summer is the peak season. Among the reported cases, bacterial foodborne agents are the leading cause. What can the food industry do to enhance food safety and prevent food poisoning? Let's check out. Wow, are all these for the crew? I won't pay a visit without bringing some presents. But fruits are better than salad. The pasta has been put here for a while. Will it cause abdominal pain? Don't be silly. That's how restaurants prepare food. And you're still alive. Oh, sweet. The food industry has a specific system to monitor the food production process. What system is it? It is the Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point System. Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point, or HACCP in short, is a system to identify, assess, and control the potential hazards in the food production process. Where did it come from? It is a safe food production system developed by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration in the 1960s where the idea of critical control point was first introduced for producing safe foods for the astronauts. Since the 1970s, HACCP system was adopted by a number of large food manufacturers to produce foods for the general public. In the 1990s, HACCP system has been recognized by international bodies including the World Health Organization and the Codex Alimentarius Commission as an effective way to prevent biological, chemical, and physical hazards in foods. Over the past few decades, HACCP has become mandatory in the production of certain food products in some developed countries, such as manufacturers of meat and poultry, seafood and juice product in the United States, and federally registered meat and poultry establishments in Canada. So Hong Kong should keep abreast of the global best practices. You are smart. I am a brilliant cook too. You surely are. Now let me help you. Please help with the pasta. Make sure we don't waste any food. Thank you so much. delicious. Of course. If I knew HACCP earlier, I would have cooked even better. To not brag. I have heard about it, but I have no idea about what it is. <laughs> the system aims to identify the potential hazards in the food production process and establish corresponding control measures to ensure food safety, which can be applied throughout the food chain. It is easy. Remember the seven principles of HACCP. Wait, let me gather the team. Come on, Ow and Man are going to share some tips with us. The seven principles of a HACCP system are. First, conduct hazard analysis. Hazards refer to anything that may contaminate the food. There are three types of hazards, namely biological, such as bacteria and parasites, chemical, such as pesticides and detergents, and physical, such as metal scraps and glass fragments. We have to identify these potential hazards and conduct evaluation before developing the control measures. 
second, determine critical control points. It means identifying all steps at which controls must be applied to ensure food safety. Taking cooking as an example, if the food is not cooked thoroughly, your stomach will suffer. Third, establish limits for critical control points. Limits may include time, temperature, humidity, and pH value. They are the criteria in determining whether the hazards have been eliminated or reduced to an acceptable level. They must be measurable. Using cooking as the example again, 75 degrees Celsius is the critical limit. That is, if the core temperature of food does not reach 75 degrees Celsius, the bacteria are still alive and the hazards remain. Fourth, establish monitoring procedures for critical control points. This is a very crucial step. The system would be meaningless if observations or measurements are not established to assess whether the critical control points are under control. Factory manager should predetermine the frequency of monitoring, the tools required, and the employees responsible for the monitoring procedure. When there is a trend towards loss of control, action can be taken immediately to bring the process back into control. Fifth, establish corrective actions. Corrective action is the action taken when the result of monitoring at the critical control point does not meet or exceed the critical limit. For cooking, if the core temperature of food does not reach 75 degrees Celsius, you have to keep cooking it until 75 degrees Celsius is reached. Continuing the cooking process is thus the corrective action. Factory manager should also determine the corrective actions in advance so that employees can respond to a problem quickly. Six. Establish verification procedures. It is to determine whether the HACCP system is working effectively. Sampling of products, regular calibration of thermometers, inspections, and evaluating the appropriateness of the corrective actions are some of the examples. Last but not least, establish a record system. Maintaining proper documentations is essential to demonstrate the effective application of a HACCP system. These records include HACCP plan, monitoring records for critical control points, and records for corrective actions, etc. Do not overlook this process. When a problem occurs, records can help to trace the sources of ingredients or identify particular operation that could result in a deviation. Records can also help to identify and narrow a product recall. So this system focuses on prevention. I thought you are talking about testing. Prevention is always better than cure. That's right. Nobody wants problems. I've learned a lot. Let's finish the lunch and get back to work. Don't waste the food. Oh, I need to bring my son his lunchbox. Why don't you order a school lunchbox for him? I prefer preparing it by myself. We're leaving now. Let us drive you to the school. Hmm. You guys enjoy. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hmm? 
The student lunchboxes have just arrived. Let me check if the supplier knows HACCP or not. Hi there. Oh, hello. Hi. You're responsible for students' meals. Yes. The quality of our lunchboxes is of utmost importance, otherwise they will fall ill. Do you implement any food safety plan? Of course. We implement HACCP system that ensures food safety at every stage of the production. This ensures food safety from procurement to production and delivery. Does the cost increase? No, it actually lowers. HACCP system also helps to reduce food recall and food waste. And most importantly, it offers us a higher chance to enter the market. Your company becomes more competitive. The insurance and legal fees decrease too, as the operating risks are lower. Ah, how reliable your factory is. I'll order your lunchbox for my son then. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I need to bring the lunchbox to my son now. Bye-bye. Uh, I have to work too. HACCP is good for all of us. If this internationally recognized system is being applied in all food production, the risk of food poisoning will be decreased. Public health will also be protected. Consistent quality also means stronger consumer confidence. That's right. It won't cause me to fall sick. Mom says food hygiene is important. Food poisoning? I have never heard of it. Food trade are responsible to follow the food safety guidelines. Consumers should also be aware of food safety, such as the importance of safe temperature. Actually, implementing HACCP system is a precautionary measure taken by food businesses to enhance food safety. Do you think the system can be adopted by all food businesses? Hmm, food safety and hygiene are the keys here. Under the licensing requirements and conditions as well as food hygiene code, food businesses have to develop programs covering cleaning and sanitation. Pest control. Staff training. Supplier management. Environmental hygiene. Personal hygiene. And traceability system. So it should not be a problem for them to implement HACCP. These are all the prerequisites. Before implementing HACCP system, food businesses have to accomplish five preliminary tasks. What are they? First, assemble a HACCP team. The team members have to know their product and the production process very well. Staff with good knowledge of food safety and hygiene, such as the food hygiene manager, should assemble and lead a team of staff from different job roles familiar with the daily operation. The team then develop a HACCP plan based on the potential biological, chemical, and physical hazards associated with the product and the process. Then they have to describe the product, such as the product name, ingredients used, packaging material, as well as temperatures for storage and transportation. Next, they have to determine the intended consumers, who may be the general public or a particular population, such as infants, school children, immunocompromised individuals, or the elderly. Moreover, whether the product is ready to eat or reheating is required should be stated clearly.
After that, a flow diagram highlighting the main steps of the food production should be developed so that everyone has a clear understanding of the flow and can evaluate the process accordingly. Each main step can be further divided into more specific steps if needed. Last but not least, the flow diagram must be verified. The HACCP team should conduct an on-site review of the operation to verify the accuracy and completeness of the flow diagram. Missing a single step may influence the HACCP plan a lot. Remember to document the modification if there are amendments. Hmm, let's take the school lunchbox as an example. First, the food factory will purchase the ingredients needed and store them at appropriate temperatures. After preparations, the ingredients will be stored properly again. During the cooking process, the food will be cooked until the core temperature reaches 75 degrees Celsius or above. before it can be served or packed. Don't miss the transportation process. Hot dishes should be kept at over 60 degrees Celsius during transportation to ensure food safety. When the flow diagram is ready, you can apply the seven principles of HACCP to analyze the hazards and identify the critical control points. It's time to visit the supermarket and do some shopping. Sure. How many products are manufactured under HACCP system? The food safety requirements are getting tighter worldwide. To meet the needs of consumers and comply with international standards, certification becomes a symbol of quality assurance, and HACCP is one of the examples. Hi, Al. Mm. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Mrs. Chan and Mrs. Chung, what are you looking for? I'm here to get some milk. Are you discussing about HACCP? I've heard of it too. If all food businesses adopt this system, we can shop with more confidence, especially for dairy products. <laughs> food safety is particularly important. <laughs> in Hong Kong, the food industry has recognized the importance of HACCP system in assuring food safety, such as milk and school lunch boxes. However, the success of introducing HACCP system within all food businesses requires support and effort from different parties. Owners or managers of food business must understand their responsibility for ensuring food safety. They must have full commitment and enthusiasm in order to successfully implement HACCP system in their premises. Moreover, the government should take part in the partnership with the industry by providing training opportunities to the trade. So that owners or managers have a clear understanding on the principles, applications, and benefits of the HACCP system. The government has put a lot of effort in it. 
Yes, I've been to the exhibition organized by the Center for Food Safety. A number of activities, including seminars, workshops, talks, and exhibitions, have been organized with a view to promote the principles, application, and the benefits of the HACCP system. That's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The consumption of contaminated foods causes many cases of foodborne illness each year. In order to control food safety problems and protect public health, food businesses should consider implementing HACCP system. Let's have a short revision on the seven principles of HACCP. First, conduct hazards analysis. That is to identify all possible biological, chemical and physical hazards and conduct evaluation so as to develop control measures. Second, determine critical control points. Critical control points are steps in the food production process where actions have to be taken to prevent, eliminate or reduce a food safety hazard to an acceptable level. Third, establish limits for critical control points. Critical limit is the criterion to determine a hazard is acceptable without compromising food safety. Fourth, establish monitoring procedures for critical control points. Observations and measurements should be conducted to access whether the critical control points are under control. Fifth, establish corrective actions. That is the actions taken to bring the production process back into control when monitoring detects deviations from critical limits or a loss of control. Sixth, establish verification procedures. This is to ensure that the HACCP system is working effectively. Some examples of verification are testing, sampling of products, etc. Lastly, establish a record system. Maintaining proper HACCP records demonstrates the effective application of the HACCP system. Implementing HACCP system brings benefits for consumers, food industry and the government. While it means safer food with consistent quality and high consumer confidence, it also helps reduce food recall and food waste. Besides, public health can be further protected by reducing the risk of foodborne diseases. HACCP has been widely adopted around the world to ensure food safety and save costs. You should also consider implementing this effective system for your business. To learn more about the HACCP system, please visit the website for the Center for Food Safety, www.cfs.gov.hk. The website also provided with different food safety guidelines, including Poon Choi, catering for children and the elderly, lunchbox, siu mei and other ready-to-eat food, such as frozen confection, sushi and sashimi, etc. Visit our website for more details. Adopt, Adopt food, food safety, safety system, system. Hazard, hazard analysis and, and critical, critical control, control point. point.